Roman Sadowski, 2020 Canadian champion. Coached by Tracy Wayman, Gregor Filipowski. Wow, what a great skater. What a tough skate yesterday. It's one of those ones, but he came back, as you said, practiced really well, looks ready to go, determined to redeem himself here tonight in the free program. He had 61.48 in the short program. And he'll choreography, choreography by Mark Pillay. Skating to Angels.
Well, that's a salvage right off the top. What a wonderful skater and a beautiful spinner. Well connected to the music. Some technical, odd technical mistakes on the triples, not the quads. Kevin? Yeah, I thought, you know, he was going to be good with the, with the Tony set after the quad sal. Just an unfortunate, looks like he slipped on the edge of the landing of the triple axle. Almost yeah. had it. And then maybe that, you know, you're thinking, what if after that? What if I don't have my timing? And a kind of doubt started to creep in. And you could kind of see that. And he looked up to the ceiling. He goes, oh, my gosh, what was that all about? Because he, I think he felt good. You said he had a good practice session. He looked good to, to get started. Now, there was no hesitation this morning in practice, or rather this afternoon in practice whatsoever. So I'm, I'm honestly surprised with a couple of these jumps. Yeah. And I think you're right. Like, he had them, and then he slipped. Or thought he had them. Let's take a look at these opening quad sal. Now, leaning slightly backwards with the axis, but much more over top of himself than he was yesterday in the short program and able to check out the landing with no problem. Let's watch the landing of this triple axle. I thought it was a good takeoff, maybe slightly behind and I don't know. Very odd on the landing here and you have to wonder if that affected him going into the triple let's. No, this one was the second one, but he was down on the first one, didn't get the combo on the second one, so losing some points there as well. Well, this was a great fight back past the halfway point. Quad Sal, combination, knows he needs this. Able to push the single oiler across the ace into the triple Sal. I thought he was back into his rhythm at this point. But an unfortunate fall on the triple flip as well. A little tight on the landing of this triple loop. So I think he knew, you could tell with his reaction at the end, he knows this is not going to be enough to propel him back to the podium. Time will tell, we'll have to see. Beautiful performance qualities throughout this performance. Doesn't let the mistakes get to him, but some points on the table, Ted. Yeah, no question. And, you know, where do you go from here? He has all the abilities and skill. Do you still pursue that elusive, clean program on a consistent basis, not one out of ten? Do you pursue that? Or do you move on? And I had an interesting interview with... Roman earlier this season and which we haven't finished producing of course but he talked about his commitment for over the next four years 145.38 for the free program that's second of course to Stephen Gogolov with a 206.86 break the 200 mark and that'll put second overall he has the ability he certainly has the skills no question to make a mark even internationally but you have to do the jumps